Hello, we will be seeing the review of Auto Brightness, more formerly called Veli's Auto Brightness app. I am going to open it now. So this is nothing but a Auto Brightness Adjuster app which adjusts the brightness. of your phone screen measured in luminous intensity units that is lux so many of us do face a problem that whenever we go outside under bright sun our phone display brightness would not be sufficient so we need to manually scroll this stick brightness stick to a high value and again once we enter in our room again we need to manually scroll scroll this stick back so to eliminate that we have this veli sato brightness app so you can predefine the curve so basically say currently i am having 112 lux of this is my current uh, light intensity reading so this works only for phones which have a proximity sensor or a brightness sensor if you see in the settings there are buttons for the sensor which sensor to turn on so there is one proximity sensor and also there is brightness sensor so it these two sensors are at least one out of these two sensors are required for the operation of this app so only one is enough if you want very high accuracy turn both on but, uh, to save battery i have turned on only brightness sensor in my phone and i have turned off proximity sensor so say for example at 112 lux intensity of light that is the ambient light or the surrounding light or the room light if i want more brightness i can just increase by moving this graph y axis say i can choose new profile i can give the profile a name okay so now the new new profile name is a in a i can increase the brightness and apply say if i don't want this i can click on this i can ho- hold it click and hold so if you click and hold this menu will appear you can write delete profile so for example if I, i so currently you might not be able to watch it in the video but i have see if you see my screen brightness has become dimming i have dimmed the screen that is how it is achieved means on the ambient light sensor i have closed it with my one of my fingers so if you see the light intensity reading is now 0 lux and hence the graph has went down say now i have removed my hand so i am moving my phone towards a brighter tube light in my home so now if you see here so once uh, i take my phone near to the tube light uh, due to high intensity radiation like high, high light intensity directly falling on my phone's brightness sensor or ambient light sensor the lux has increased so again i have removed far from, now i have moved my phone far from the tube light so if you can observe the graph is changing so if you see this it follows this specified pattern say if i want little brightness at this 139 lux i can just increase the curve like this and press apply so if i want little less brightness at this curve i can decrease the curve and press apply say i can i want increase i can apply if i want to cancel you can cancel so if you see, we will see the settings now so if you see the settings uh, there are different settings uh, this is the language i have used my system language system default language in my phone is english so these are the apps uh, you can ch- check these apps so those these are the excluded apps list so whatever apps you are going to select here when those apps are running this brightness curve will be inactive so settings mode we have simple and advanced if you use simple 
you will get less number of settings whereas if you keep advanced you will get more number of settings so for as it is a demo and I, ha I have completely read the app I will use advanced setting so if you see automatic brightness enjoying the power of auto brightness so if I off this means this app is off so there is no use in installing this app and keeping this button as off so next we have disable system handler system brightness handling is off this should be if you see if you do not disable system brightness handler some of the phones do have some algorithm uh, which control the brightness of the phone but that might not be too smooth or you cannot have such a caro and adjust on your own but the problem is both will interfere with each other so you need to disable the system handler start when screen turns on so sometimes this app will be killed by your android kernel based on the memory management so at that time it should be auto turn on whenever you screen on when you whenever you press the lock button and you un unlock your phone this app will even though if it is killed by the android background processes limit threshold set but still it turns on and so that you can enjoy auto brightness uninterruptedly now use devices boost brightness uh, when measured brightness is above this many lux system brightness will be activated to provide sunlight screen brightness boost so actually uh, sometimes uh, even more above br brightness than that is available in the curve is required so if you see the problem with the curve is if you stretch at any one point you will the entire curve is changing so you, you can use this so the preferred value is 15,000 lux so that when you go under a mid noon very sunny day at that time it your phone works under maximum brightness so optional update system brightness setting so if you see this this is a cosmetic feature it means that if you turn off if your phone brightness is increasing or decreasing this will not change the this thumb stick available on the notification panel will not move say for example I will close my ambient light sensor on my phone with my thumb my screen brightness has decreased now if I go here it has automatically gone to zero say now slowly I have increased my screen brightness by removing the thumb from the ambient light sensor then automatically the thumb will move that is what is meant by this button so if you see here now I will so earlier I have done manually now if you see it is automatically moving see it is automatically moving I am not moving uh, scrolling it up or down this brightness thumb Intera so interactive notification displays and lets you change current brightness if left down confirm the setting will remain until first screen off so it is something related to interactive like push style notification push notification style brightness uh, so that you can also see uh, select if you are satisfied with the graph or not at runtime without opening the app so proximity sensor and brightness sensor if both are turned on then both will be used to find the ambient brightness so that to adjust the screen brightness automatically but what I suggest is only bright sense sensor is enough the, so if you see this will cause use additional battery load and discharge your battery more quickly screen touch and screen start don't change screen brightness for two seconds these are all not required you can keep as it is steady sketch can update brightness so if you see if you want to increase your brightness immediately and say you are in a room suddenly you went outside and your, your phone screen is not visible you can tap three times quickly or the number of times you can tap quickly can be defined here so that immediately new value based on the updated ambient light will be reflected screen on sensor value override so if you see here this is not at all required uh, 
erratic uh, so excluded app sensor value override this is also not required this is only for developers for testing uh, erratic sensor readings fix or some in some phones uh, even though you suddenly see any increase in the room temp room ambient light there will be no, the app will not react immediately at that time you can turn on this uh, so so that instead of taking a consecutive sensor readings it will take alternate readings so there is no much you, you can turn on this on only if the you have observe any sudden fluctuations in your screen brightness so if you see if you are not satisfied with the brightness say if you want to increase the brightness say i have i will move the graph like this but the problem is my graph here is changed my graph with the left and right has also come up so at that time i can use this so I, at that time the setting i need to use its additional percent to add say i will add here 25 percent i want so if you say or i i'll add 55 for 50 percent now if i go here at this point in addition to this graph above the graph which is not shown in the graph your brightness value will also increase by 50 more points a uh, 50 percent i generally keep it as zero because i i am satisfied with the brightness based on my curve setting itself permanent additional brightness is say i want my base level of the curve to increase see now this is the, in addition to the chart so the graph base level itself will be more say now i have kept my thumb on the ambient sensor and the curve has come to the bottom but still the screen is bright this is because of this setting this is the base setting so when there is no light falling on the ambient light sensor what is the intensity that is the starting screen intensity to be present there. so i kept as zero because when i am chatting in the night without light or when I'm using my phone in a complete dark say I'm in a cab so at that time I want very low dim light on my phone screen so I need to keep it as zero then only I can get very low brightness when the entire room or entire surroundings are completely dark so this is the brightness update rate so once you observe a change in the sensor readings how you immediately you want to change your screen brightness uh, that is given by this uh, say if you keep it as uh, currently it is 100 means it is 100 milliseconds so for example suddenly you have increased uh, you have switched on more lights in your room or you have suddenly gone out of your house and standing on a mid sun so at that time the ambient light sensor value will change it means the brightness screen brightness should increase after how much time you want it to be reflected if you keep it as 0 milliseconds it will be reflected immediately the problem with the low value is say sometimes you just tilt your phone or sometimes you just uh, move your hands above and below the phone or sometimes you just move your phone left and right so within that small minute fractional time itself the brightness or ambient light sensor reading will change and at that time your screen brightness will keep on fluctuating to avoid that you need to use minimum 100 milliseconds so that you will not your eyes will not feel strain and eyes will not detect rapid changes in the brightness brightest change sensitivity 5% light so if you see here if light ambient light changes by at least 5% then only change the screen brightness if you keep it as 100 then the app will never work because it should become more than double the brightness in the surrounding then only it will work which will not be useful say if you keep 0 very immediately the um, brightness of the app keep on changing brightness change smoothed over 20,000 20, milliseconds it means that say I uh, currently I have taken the phone from a dark room to a very very bright room so say my phone screen brightness has to be increased by 15,000 lux so then this 15,000 lux increase will change uh, this change it will take place in two seconds time that is what is meant by this time setting next smoothing time downwards when decreasing the screen brightness that is when now we are moving from a bright room to a low, low lit room 
at the time in 3 seconds the entire screen brightness will decrease so keep it as uh, zero then immediately your screen brightness will decrease and it will call much 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 more strain on your eyes if you keep say 15000 or 15 lakhs seconds then the problem is say the maximum value i can keep there is no limit say if i keep like this then the problem is after this much time only the screen brightness will be reflected so which will be not in catching the room conditions immediately so if light difference is above 50 percent then it will change without smoothing so smoothing means earlier in 2000 milliseconds it will change so if we change is more than 50 percent by the two seconds for the two seconds we will phone screen will not be visible or will be visible overly over bright in a over bright manner so to remove this the, diff, the preferred value is 50 super dimming threshold super dimming may render your screen too dark to be readable if you are using very low brightness values uh, apply bright preset so if you want to decrease the base value you can use this so this is all is about the review these are la widget parameters so these are not of much importance for you so please subscribe to this channel to get all apps available in the play store complete review so my final verdict or judgment is this is the best app available so among all brightness intensity automatic brightness intensity controller apps on play store this is the only one available for free with without any ads and working in a superb fashion you can see my current screen brightness is 18 percent i have closed my thumb it is that 10 percent i have taken my phone and kept near a tube light and now the brightness is 27 percent so if you, again i have mo moving far away from the light my brightness is decreasing this is the best and one of the only state of the art app there are other apps also which are doing in par in performance with the this app Velis Auto Brightness. This app is called as Velis V L I S Velis Auto Brightness. Uh, but they are consuming more power from the battery. This is the only in all I have conducted multiple tests. Then uh, this has passed every test. Uh, so the crash rate of app is almost zero uh, percent, completely zero percent. So it the also the this app will um, Android system is never killing this app. So the coding has been written in such a excellent way. So if you so this app works well for all phones. So finally this is the best app if you want an auto brightness controller please go this. So sometimes what happens is manufacturer also gives you a automatic brightness controller setting but the problem with that is you can't don't have such graph so at what light intensity you of uh, ambient light you want what light intensity you want to show in your screen or sometimes they don't show a smooth increase they show a large difference suddenly the brightness changes from 20 to 50 percent instead of changing in one person steps so if you have such problems you can download this app also this app is recommended for those phones which do not have a ambient light sensor so some phones which do not have a ambient light sensor but they only have a proximity sensor proximity sensor is the infrared sensor so once you if uh, proximity sensor means when you place your phone near your ear at that time the screen will be off that is when you are talking uh, in a phone call when once you re remove the phone from your face and uh, see look into the screen then the screen will be turned on automatically that is based on the proximity sensor this is sensor is used to detect whether the, the obstacle is present right in front of the phone screen so that you can turn off the phone screen light to save battery so when some phones doesn't have brightness sensor and only have proximity sensor even this can be used in that so this is the best state of the art app in its family of all auto brightness controller apps so subscribe for my channel for complete review on each and every app in play store so that it will be useful in two ways once you download the app you can know how to use it also before downloading the app you can know whether it is beneficial 
are not beneficial to use this app because it's waste of time just downloading the app See, seeing that it is not serving your purpose again uninstalling it trying another app okay subscribe don't forget subscribe thank you